the doctrine of blood atonement existed in the LDS Church in the 19th century. It stated that the blood of Christ does not atone for eternal sins, such as murder, adultery, fornication, theft and apostasy. It required that the blood of the guilty be spilled upon the ground to receive forgiveness for these sins, usually by slitting the throat or decapitation. Brigham Young, the second prophet of the Mormon Church, said, There are sins that men commit for which they cannot receive forgiveness, in this world or in that which is to come, and if they had their eyes open to see their true condition, they would be perfectly willing to have their blood spilt upon the ground, that the smoke thereof might ascend to heaven as an offering for their sins, and the smoking incense would atone for their sins. Young also said that for certain sins the shedding of blood was the only condition for which they can obtain forgiveness, or to appease the wrath that is kindled against them, and that the law might have its course and that the atonement of Christ was for sins through the fall and those committed by men. Yet men can commit sins which it can never remit.